Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. <clears throat> We're still in Toussaint, we just found out where all the locations for the uh, Grand Master level armors are. And I will want to go um, look for the uh, Wolf Grand Master armor set, because of course I will. Um, but now, I think we have some paper to chase, or deal with a bank or something. Um, let's go to the uh, Cianfanelli bank and um, see what's going on there. Apparently someone put some money in there for us, so... Oh Jesus, okay. Okay, let's have a look here. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 what is this? What is this? I think this says the Cianfanelli bank, right? The Cianfanelli Bank welcomes customers between the hours of 8 in the morning and 10 in the evening, except during breaks for meals and aperitifs. Oh, of course. Um, it's 12.25 p.m., so let's hope they're not in their... on their... Uh, on their lunch break. Welcome to Cianfanelli Bank. Well, hello there. Building secured by the Reitenbach system. The Cianfanelli Bank is prote protected by Bruno Reitenbach's patented system. Dimaterium yes. amplifiers, stifling auras and other mysterious machinery guarantees absolute security against all forms of magic attack, including hypnosis, hyp hypno hypnosis, not hypnosis, <laughs> hypnosis, telepathy, uh, witcher signs and even spells. Hmm... Bruno Reinhardt, Rein, Reitenbach and Company, with us, no one will get the jump on you. Okay. Okay, well... There's a bank customer here. I need to... I need to speak... To... what does... what does this say? Window 3. Uh, okay. Welcome Hello there. to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Okay, um... Oh, need to change some coin? I'd Wait like a to change some coin. By all means. Thirteen crowns? Yeah, okay, great. Uh, I would like to withdraw some coin. Got an account here. like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. Okay. So far, so good. We didn't have to queue. So... We didn't have to wait in line. What the hell? Okay. I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. Excuse me. note in the records, the account holder is dead. How can the inaccurate? What? As you can see. Yes. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit A38. For what the hell is that? Please go to window number one. Alright. Mm, okay. Here we go. Where is window number one? Yes. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. No four. That. This will be no. Okay, window two. Catch twenty two. Okay, is this the window number one? Yes, it is. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Window. No Why the f hell is window number one in this? private room here. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we yeah. look after your coin as if it were our own, etc, etc. Uh, How can I help you, sir? <laughs> Thank you for sparing me the everything else. Permit uh, A38, please. I need a copy. I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. How can it be the wrong window when the other girl told me What do you mean, wrong window? I was told I'd get permit A38 here. Please remain calm, sir, or you'll rupture a vein. <laughs> okay. So I will rupture something, all right. I get this stupid document. 
perhaps upstairs in records or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Do just that. Oh, man. This is... <clears throat> For those of you that don't know and maybe are not familiar with... Um, with how some... Um, some... It, how, how banks work in some countries. Uh, this is very relatable to me. Why? Because this is exactly how a bank would work in... Uh, not necessarily a bank, but a, like, a, like an institution would work in Romania, for example. Where you just basically get sent from one place to another because nobody wants to actually tell you what you should be doing. What the hell is this thing? Sure savings for unsure times. Hello. Worried about your coin? Or a war in the north? Or perhaps you just wish to profit without risk? Choose the happy percentage savings account. Guaranteed rate of return on deposit of a minimum of 3,000 crowns. For detailed information, refer to Annex 37 available at any branch. Yeah, I'm sh no, I'm not going to do that. Wait a second. Yes, so, <clears throat> as I was saying... I'm just looking for. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else we can pick up and read. Um, in Romania, whenever you go to an institution to, let's say, pay a debt, for example, you get tossed around from one uh, window to another. The lives of famous bankers, Amadeus Chamfanelli. Oh, I am going to read this. Amadeus Chamfanelli was born to a family of humble traders, but thanks to hard work and innate entrepreneurial talent, by the age of 50 he had already established a flourishing bank. It soon became clear, however, that for the ambitious Amadeus, this was just a beginning, or the beginning. He quickly expanded the business, establishing Chamfanelli Bank branches in Kovir and Nazir, and even sending a representative to Zerikania. He became known for treating each and every customer as an old friend and cared deeply about what became of others' coin. He thus created a wide range of banking products to better allow him to look after the property of an increasingly greater number of customers. He coined the phrase that up until today has served Chamfanelli as an advertising slogan and motto. We look after your coin as if it were our own. You know what? I, I, I would take Vivaldi Bank Sorry, anytime at this oh, point. What is this? Back of the queue, sir. There's a queue. The line, sir. Okay. I don't have time for this crap, so. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were blah, a. Blah blah blah. Customer is always right. How might I help you? I need a document A38. This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. Oh my god. Form 202? This brings Just back some some memories, man. Sir, I'm not <laughs> Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Of course. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. Can anybody just tell me, like, what is the exact process here? Oh, great, this is gonna be nasty. You cut in front of me, sir. I really don't have time for this shit. Seriously. Back off. Did no such thing. Been standing here the whole time. Is that so? You know you're the third today to try that ruse. I will not stand for this. Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners. Go on, hit me. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Do it. Oh, look at these these guys. They cannot wait. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now. Really? Fuck. Oh, I don't want to fight this guy. Seriously, now. Oh, great. Oh, 
Not this week. I wager ten on the one on the right. Poor simpleton, prepare to be humbled. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. No, you won't. The, you won't teach me the meaning of nothing because I'll just kick your ass. Simpleton, prepare to be humbled. Come on, come on already. If I have to do this. <clears throat> How long are you gonna make me wait? I shall teach you the That's it. Happy now? Well, you wanted to. You cut the line, sir. Oh my God. Okay, return to the window. I don't know what this solved, but whatever. Come on. Where the hell she go? Air bomb made. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. Oh, come on. The archive. Oh, what is this now? Chamfanelli's safe deposit boxes. Hello. Times are tough, coins tight, and to make matters worse, there are thieves ready to pounce on every moment of inattention. Luckily, the Chamfanelli Bank has a solution for you. Put your trust in one of our safe deposit boxes, which are secured not only against normal break-in methods, but also against magic and telepathy. Don't tarry, come safeguard your valuables with us today. Okay. Can I get in here? Welcome to Chan Fanelli. <sighs> yes? Can I help you? They are right there. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window you one. cannot be serious. I too find it hard to believe. For Excuse me. Oh my god. Can you not see what it says there? We're on what? our break. Oh really? Celine darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something We're on I... break. <laughs> this ah, is to be polite, it just never gets through. amazing how well it depicts the situation and I, I bet I that no choice I guess need to wait till they're done with their break oh <clears throat> this is oh my god I told you like this is so relatable for me and I bet for 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 like everyone else that is like from from um from um, Eastern Europe most likely I don't I don't really know how things are in like Western Europe for example but um, because like so far I've, I haven't had like this type of issues let's say in uh, in Ireland for example so I don't know how how things are in other parts of Europe or in the States or anywhere else in the world but I know like in Eastern Europe apparently, that's the case. So you must uh, wait. They have a break now. Yeah, no shit, buddy. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Are you a detective Permit or something? What the hell? No, guess I need form 202 as well now. Form 202. Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. What are but you here for, buddy? Are both forced to wait. Fancy a round of Gwent. Whoa. Um. Why not? Ooh, only twenty-five crowns. Why not? Okay. Let's lay them out. Now that I understand, I'll start arranging my deck. Go for it, buddy. Oh yes. No, I'm not gonna pick the Skelliga. Please stop picking the Skelliga by default. For me. Skoyatel, eh? Come on, have something good for me here. 
Okay. Hmm. Uh, one second, one second, one second. <clears throat> you know what? Ay, 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 ay. Let's replace you. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, come on. Shit. I was hoping for another, another spy. Alas, we didn't get another spy. Interesting music. Are you fucking kidding me? This... Uh, this sucks. Oh, we got another spy. Here we go. Okay. I'll give him the first round, as usual. Um... Boom! Wow, okay, cool. 64? Nah, you're too good for me, buddy. Too good for me. Come on. Please bring back some of your uh, for some of these spies from uh, from my deck or from your graveyard, I should say. Uh Cirilla? Yeah, I have Cirilla as well, my friend. Sesynthesis. Not bad. I'll uh, counter you with uh, my uh, Vurhis. What do you say about that? Although I should have, although I should have countered with uh, with what's his name. Your opponent has passed. Really? Okay. Uh, with this guy, Tibor Egerbracht. Okay, let's go with um, with you. We basically, although we have nine cards, we basically only have seven because, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is, oh, sorry, I thought this was a uh, resurrect card. <clears throat> um, like this? Of course. Of course you have Scorch. Why, why doesn't that uh, surprise me? Uh, okay, then. What do you say about a Geralt? Alright, alright, he's bringing back the... Spies. Yes, please, bring back the spies. Seventeen, eh? Mm, actually... Here, take one more. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'll play my my, my last spy. I don't know. I like. I just like uh, playing the spies. They don't like in this particular case. They won't do anything for me because he only has two. He's gonna get two more here, so he's gonna go to three. <clears throat> so. I don't think you'll get anything good out of out of them, but let's do this. Hmm, okay. Not bad, 29, but we're still at 26, so yeah. He's got a long way to go. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Ooh, not bad at all. 57, eh? Okay then, well, let's start let's start doing some uh, some damage here. Um like so and like so. And then like so. And like so. And that's it. Thank you very much for the game. Victory is ours. A ceased player, I see. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hmm. As your prize, 
I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. Whoa. Nothing ever comes of using the normal channels. Really? I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. Be kind. Be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. Okay. Fair point. I can do that. But right, Gerald? up some flowers. Some perfume. <laughs> well, you will resolve your matter lickety split. I know what you're saying now. Right. Typical. Certainly typical. A shot. Just a little bit of bribery. Just a little bit. Just some flowers, some candy, some perfume, and that's it. <clears throat> the question is, do we have anything? Buy a present. Buy a present for the bank clerk. That's what I'll do. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. I should have thought about it from the beginning. Because, like I said, it does resonate a lot with uh, what happens in, uh, in Romania, for example. So, what do we have here? We can buy some flowers off this guy over here. Right? Um, please tell me we can. Whoa! A witcher! A serious client at last! Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle? Ganesha petals? Well, <clears throat> um... Let's see what you have Show on offer. We've got in stock. Flowers? Yes, please. Flowers. Just one is enough. Okay. Just one is enough. Let's not... Whoa, what is this now? Greater mutagen transmutator. Green to blue. <gasps> Whoa, this is awesome. Green, greater mutagen transmutator, green to red. We ha Please tell me you have blue to green. Blue to red? Yes. All right, because we have a lot of blue mutagens in here. Cool, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's play some Gwent if we're here. Why not? Come on, let's do that. In the mood for a round of Gwent? We got the flowers, let's do the Gwent, and then we, we will be on our way to solve our banking problems. Ooh, this guy has the Skellige deck. We fought the Skellige deck before, so... Are you serious? These are all the spies that I have? I mean, this guy? Okay. Let's go ahead then. Unlucky. Ah, okay. The good thing for us now is that if he plays it, uh, when he's gonna play it, our uh, spy is gonna die at one point, and we're gonna have be able to resurrect it. So um, let's okay, let's start like this then. I guess I don't know. Boom. Nice. Mm, no, I'm actually gonna go with uh, our friend here. Ermion. Ooh, what the hell is... What did he do there? What? Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards on the same row. Wow, okay. Hmm. Do I want to use Scorch now or do I want to wait? I might want to wait. Okay. Huh, very interesting. 
28, eh? Well, what about 31 here? Oh, nasty, 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 nasty. Okay, 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 I'll give him that. I think this is going to be my last unit that I'm going to play this turn. There we go. I knew you would do that at one point. So what I will do now is nothing because yeah, I cannot do anything for the moment. I'll just pass because if I use Scorch, I'm going to kill off this guy and I don't want that. Ceres. And she has... Ooh, wow. That is awesome. That is pretty impressive. Okay, okay. Hmm. We might get our asses handed to ourselves. Just saying. the hell was that how can the the ability trigger if we <clears throat> this is not I don't like this this is not cool okay because he, he he has an advantage now okay so uh, one second when does this uh, trigger exactly Choose one card from your disc... No, 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 what the hell am I doing? This one. Transforms into a bear when a Mardrome card is on its row. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. Really? You're gonna do that? Okay, then I'm gonna do this. Last card. Shit. 28. Fudge cakes. That's bad. 28. Can I get to 28? I think I can. Or can't I? I don't think I can. Yes, I can. Boom. 28. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a win for me, buddy. Thank you very much. What do did we get? A hundred crowns and a light longship from the Skellige deck, I believe. Okay, let's get back to the bank here and finish finish the business. <clears throat> this better be worth it. Although I have a <laughs> I have a bad feeling about it. But if there is money in there on our name. It should be should be good for it. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Um, I need form two hundred two. Need form two hundred two to get a copy of permit A thirty eight. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me. Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. Oh, sh what the hell? And thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Why didn't we give her the Girl flowers? Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. Here it is. 
Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. Shit, what the hell, Excuse what? Excuse me. The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? Give her the flowers. Got you some flowers. Just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. For me? Really? Match mm -hmm. the color of your eyes. Oh. You, sir, are quite the charmer. Oh, you have no uh, idea. <laughs> wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfonelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. Yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, you tell him, Danny Disturb, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Mm hmm. Been a Thank bit you very busy, much. But I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Seems I have a problem with uh, an old account. Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... Nay, nee problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Excuse me? Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. What the hell? What? What? I thought you were here to help without the forms? Chanfinelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the ire? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary document. You don't have the coin, Got do you? a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Uh, her enlightened highness. She's hired you. Yes, she mm. has. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account right now. Uh, uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. There we go. Okay. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Can't complain. Good for you. Because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. White <laughs> sails are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have me any notion how to yes. say coat de blessure and all that. It twists their tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. Done. Deposit box 256. Last you on the right. Mm-hmm. Okay. These are all locked. Right? No. Wait, 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 wait. This one is ours. Okay, anything else in here, though? I just want to... I just want to check. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell? What the hell's this, Chen Finelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So Are you kidding me? Headmaster, we uh, circulated yours. Are you Purchased kidding me? Stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was he haul left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never. I wouldn't dare. Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. <sighs> I don't really want to fight. But I don't know if, if I say you got a week. If he'll still be here in a week. 
I'm going to go with the benefit of the doubt and see and say you got a week. Got a week, not one day more. You shan't mm -hmm. regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in seven days. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See you then. You just tried to kill me, my friend, and I let you live. So you better have my coin in seven what days. Gervant. Yes, Gervant. Gervant of a River. Okay, um... Cool. Now. Ducal Camerlingo is here. I'm just thinking, I am just actually thinking if we should uh, should go to... You know what? No, screw it. Let's go to... Um, let's go to our uh, to our new house. I really want to see our, our new house. It can be only one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No place like home. Yes, I want to go to Corvo Bianco. Dare to think you've got here. Let's go to Corvo Bianco. I really like the colors, man. I really like the, the way these guys are dressed and the colors that they have. Even the guardsmen, like, look at that. Their armor matches the the colors of the buildings and everything. It's, wow, it's amazing. It is so, so beautiful. I know meeting Regis is in the other... <clears throat> oh, come on. Uh, on the other side of the land but um, we will meet him at one point what the hell do we have there what the hell we have peak a peak it's a dead dead peacock what trophy Goliath okay it looks like a dead peacock um, but whatever that's it Roach Cooper's gate oh. San Sebastian Beauclair. Yes, I really like the colors in here. Look at that. Go, Amazing. Go. Drinking What is this place over here? Oh, we've been to this particular part. Okay. Come on, it's uh, it's early in the afternoon it's just lunchtime basically well, let's investigate our new home Not so this is another estate Ouch. orphanage oh okay this is an orphanage wow look at this guys Yeah, they sure do. Some of them, at least. Do you have a little brother or a little do monsters have mamas <laughs> and papas? I just wanna, I just wanna look around here, guys. Look at this! Wow. Caretaker. Good day. Interesting. This is where they sleep. Look at that. Wow. Okay, okay. Let me just go back here. <clears throat> My warmest greetings. Arnaud. Arnaud. Okay, Arnaud. I, I think we might talk again by the looks of it because you are. You have a name. Matters not I that a man is as fit as a fiddle if he mm -hmm. never gives his lady mm -hmm. a roaring tittle. Our Ducas is a lovely lassie. You scamp, you. You scamp. Okay. Cats and dogs just 
live harmoniously. That is awesome. Hey, Roach, what are you doing there with the pigs? Roach? Mm. Okay, I'll let you. I'll let you eat or whatever you want to do there, and I'm just gonna go. Just go have a look at Corvo Bianco myself then. Come on. Corvo Bianco Estate. Here it is. There's some people here. Welcome Whoa. home, sir. Hello. Oh, I am Barnabas okay. Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. Oh, Major Domo. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas okay. Basil. Okay. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. For real. Oh, in <laughs> that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. I Great. like what I'm hearing. I already see I'm in good hands. So, can you tell me more about this place? Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great-great-great-great-grandfather. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclerc went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. Whoa, that's never a lot. Never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Mm -hmm. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. Well, that's a predicament. Give up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mm-hmm. Would you show me around the vineyard, please? The vineyard? Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Whatever you say. Lead the way, please. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Oh, nice. Pretty vast. <clears throat> Indeed. Mm -hmm. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Mm -hmm. Great aunt. A hard <laughs> woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Interesting. People seem to be living here as well. So... The servants' quarters. Okay. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. 
their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury. Oh, okay. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Mm-hmm. Okay. The help. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to let that sink in, probably. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful. Especially comes Don't look at all bad now either. Yeah. Everything looks beautiful, man. What are you talking about here? Look at look at the view. Look at this. Jesus. Down below Amazing. lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Mmm. Marvelous. It Have sure sounds marvelous. Days. Yeah. Did you hear about the monster that attacked the Cuturan estate? They say it slaughtered them all. When I tell my man, he'll be Nice, well, picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Volius held, he would order it filled with wine. This Whoa, a really? About a guest attending a Bolius school for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close, and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. He drank himself to death? <laughs> oh my Not God. at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. Okay. The water had been changed into wine, and he had sufficed. He returned to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains, and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Well, the good thing to take from this is that He's st he's still alive. He didn't kill himself, right? So that's a good, that's a positive. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. Mm -hmm. A supremely lovely place it was. I think it, it needs a little bit work. <laughs> yeah. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory mm -hmm. and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. So, are we gonna, like, produce wine from here, or, like, I mean, when I say, are we gonna produce wine, are we gonna make money out of this winery, or, or, or a vineyard, or not? Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> Barnabas Basil. It looks, it looks very nice. It needs work, but it looks very nice. That's a song? Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, oh, and what do you get for all that work? A cook in your back, once so on in years. Okay. This Barnabas. This as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Now I shall sink you a song. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Are we going the to go down here? Or? During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took mm, the liberty of oil, huh? cleaning up the mess, which... Thank I you very much. The brook, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Okay. What else? Are you going to show me inside the house as well, or... The, the house really looks like it needs some work done. <laughs> As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. Slightly, yeah. But one cannot deny it. A 
certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. <laughs> More than paint, but yeah. Okay, let's go in. Just a little bit of paint and um, should be all good, Welcome right? Welcome inside. Thank you. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. But one must admit, time has taken its toll. If it has, yes. Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll hmm. take you okay. up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Uh, okay, let's see how much money we're talking about first. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. Question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Um, I think the grounds would need uh, improvement first. Got these spacious grounds, mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh yes, we certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Okay. Um, an armor's table, maybe? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armor's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Okay, so... Oh, a thousand crowns? Okay, whatever. Let's go for it. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will mm -hmm. you be needing anything else, sir? Let's go with the grindstone as well, maybe? Trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Another thousand, okay. Then send out for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Thank you Do very you much. Anything else, sir? No, that's it for now. Um... Yeah, that's it for now. You know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Oh, never mind then. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Okay. Cool. So, uh, this is our new ho home. I really like it. This is a place where we can hang paintings, apparently, but we don't have any in our inventory. Armor stand... Uh, no armor in inventory that can be placed here. Okay. So, um, so wait a second. This is a bed. So if I were to... Just give me a second here. Let me, let me have a check on this. What is this? Weapon rack. Oh, we can... Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna put Iris in here. Oh, we can put more than Iris. Ooh, I like that. And then the storage is in here, right? So, one second, one sec. We can place a trophy in here as well. How come there's no items? Okay. So if I go to the stash, and if I go, for example, to get the Ursine armor. Let's see. Like this, and then this, and then... the Hey this and this 
what happens if I go to if I go to the armor stack uh, rack sorry <laughs> here can I uh, armor stand I can place the earth sign armor here that is awesome that is awesome oh yeah oh yes I love it I love it already what is in what is this here just more storage and oh the kitchen okay gotcha. well guys on that note I'm gonna end the episode here we will uh, we will continue in the next one we have some other stuff that uh, that we need to start doing uh, so yeah I'm thinking we should start doing these things as you can see here a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, secondary quests that we can uh, we can do what is this here visit Gilom in the medic's tent what it, where is this is this close by yes this is actually very close by so i think we're going to go here and this is tradition has sanctified two codes of conduct in Tucson, the teachings of the prophet lebidoa Lebi, lebioda sorry and the chivalric principles which guide its knights these latter call for young men to prove their abilities through feasts of daring during tourneys one such knight Gilom, sought to stand out from the rest by fighting a Shalmar and was injured as a result. Afterwards, he pleaded with Ger Geralt to visit him in the medic's tent. He said he had a very urgent matter to discuss. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. But we'll do it in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you if you like the series so far. I personally love it. Um, the the scenery is amazing and and the the main story is is like. It's very good. I think it's very good and has some very interesting developments. But what I also like is the fact that you have all these other things that you can do besides the main story. So clearly, this particular DLC is way more developed, let's say, or where, you know, yeah, where... <clears throat> Sorry, I cannot speak anymore. A lot more developed than the previous DLC, than, uh, than Hearts of Stone, because you have all these other secondary quests. It's basically, it's a new world. Uh, and for me at the moment, it's, it's like a new, it's like a new game. So, um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.